Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video, fellas. Today, uh, the homie Boston fam was kind enough to hook your boy up with a nice heartbreaker. Or another gun, they got a pretty uh, respectable buff inside of the recent hotfix that we got almost a week ago now. Uh, this puppy does have consecutives, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, obviously, this weapon does heal. Uh, I, I believe it's 20% based off of the card damage. Um, so, for instance, this puppy has 10,000. So, if we're going to do 20% of that, it'd be, it'd be about a little over 2,000 HP we're going to heal per shot with this thing, uh, which is pretty, pretty nice. If you want to farm for it, um, obviously, it can drop anywhere inside of DLC 1, but it has a high chance to drop from the gorgeous Arma uh, Arma uh, the gorgeous Armada in the car impactor. Uh, so keep that in mind uh, this thing also does fire its pellets in the form of a heart uh, shocker i know right so we have our cryo plus ultra we have our radiation hunter seeker and then we have our hyperion bounty hunter along with that we do have our nice pearl um here is our master tree over here that you love to see uh we have a lot of stuff going into frenzy you know what i'm saying my boy um here's our hunter tree and all that good jazz and all its glory Pretty, pretty standard, you know. Never. Who the fuck's gonna use ambush predator? <laughs> um, here's our stalker tree. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have a little bit into agility training. Anyways, guys, with all this stuff being said and out the way, let us go ahead and let's get right into the video. All right, y'all. So we're over here at the guardian takedown side of things. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's see what this heartbreaker can do <clears throat> after it got its buff. Um, I have not done a showcase on this gun, definitely since it came out back um, in uh, DLC 1 over a year ago now. Damn, that's crazy. Um, I thought it was relatively okay-ish. Um, it, it really didn't, you know, do all that much damage back then. I mean, still, this thing still isn't really meant to be a devastatingly hard hitter shotgun. Uh, as you can see here, it's taking multiple clips to kill some of these enemies. And this is even after its buff. Now, could you imagine uh, this thing pre-buff? Pre yeah, it wasn't really all that good. I mean, I stick by this opinion when I say the DLC 1 weapons were probably the most lackluster of DLC weapons outside of, like, the Ion Cannon. I mean, the the Craps. The Craps is also a really good gun inside of uh, DLC 1. I feel like that gun is just underrated, to be honest. To, like, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like... I don't know many people ever talk about that gun. I think that gun's also really, really good. Let's go ahead, go back into Fadeaway, get our get this puppy working. I mean, I, I guess this could be a really good gun for you know some Flak players out there, you know, because like Flak doesn't really have that much impressive um, health regen skills. I mean, Rage Recover is really, really good, even with just two skill points into it. But I mean, I guess having this could be you know pretty useful for you know Flak players. Oh, look at this guy being hella annoying. Come on. There you go, buddy. Sit down, pal. Sit down, bud. Get wrecked, noob. Alright, so a few more of our Hunter Seekers. Let's get this man. Let's get this puppy working. Let's go back in inside of Fadeaway. I mean, it's, it's, it's good after it's buff, for sure, for sure. But, like, I, I don't know, dude. I, w I, don't, I probably still wouldn't find myself using this thing over other hyperion shotguns i just feel like it's not like worth it i mean yeah it's cool that it can heal you but like i feel like you know something like a reflux i'm gonna be able to kill everything before they can even kill me anyways so i don't know dude uh i mean this gun never re has really been a giant eye catcher you know what i'm saying and let's go back into fadeaway real quick we're doing relatively respectable work on these guys but you know it's nothing like jaw dropping or like insane I mean, I guess it's nice that it will heal, heal us. Uh, 2k per shot is not bad at all. You know, it, it, it's doing some damage, you know. I will say, I mean, this thing's going to make us really sustainable. I mean, we're not going to take hardly any damage at all. I feel like this gun's mostly a utility weapon. Like, it's not going to do the biggest amounts of damage. I mean, obviously, it's a heartbreaker. 
It's full auto, which is, you know, that's pretty cool. But it's definitely uh, respectable. Respectable um, in that it, it will keep you alive for sure. Uh, but yeah, guys. Anyways, let's just go ahead and head straight over to the Mal one takedown. And I'll see y'all over there. All right, y'all, we're over here. We're at the Malawan takedown. Let's go ahead, pop in the fadeaway. Let's fuck these noobs up. Show them what they're, what they're not capable of. Oh man, we're just booming out here, dog. Let's go back in the fadeaway, brother. Easily get wrecked. Repulse commando, concussion smoke, boy. Drop your shield there, buddy. No good, no good at all. Let's go back in the fadeaway. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, let's wreck this dude. We got our ASCs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Love ASCs. Oh, also one thing to mention, it doesn't even matter, like, if you're doing, like, if you're shooting shock on a flesh enemy, or, like, radiation on a armored enemy, or incinerary on an armored enemy, you're still gonna heal for the same amount. Uh, so just keep that in mind. It's it's just based off the damage on the card. So just, just keep that in mind. Let's go back into fadeaway. And, uh, I mean, this thing's doing some r relatively respectable work. I mean, we do have it uh, on the Corrosive variant, which is nice because, I mean, a lot of enemies in here are armored. Especially, you know, whenever we get to Wotan, that's going to be very, very nice. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Jetpack Commando, you can't handle the smoke. Boy, get wrecked. Let's go get rid of that guy. And then uh, let's go ahead and go fuck up this Kraken. Show them uh, who's boss, who's king around these parts of these streets. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna just do some casual work on it, man. It's, oh man, just can't handle it. Just can't handle it, bro. Also, it's also really nice to have uh, that extra life steal, especially on Flak. You know what I'm saying, my guy? All right, y'all. We're over here. We're at the bridge side of things. We got the heartbreaker ready to go, ready to put in some of the smoke, my guy. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're here. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna wreck some face. We're gonna wreck some noobs, and they're not gonna be able to handle the smoke, man. They're just not going to, bro. Go back in a fadeaway, dude. I mean, I will say this thing makes a uh, flag just very, very sustainable, dude. Like, we're just not even. We, I don't think we're gonna go down at all this video, which is pretty nice, especially you know, flag's generally considered you know a pretty squishy character, especially if you don't spec that much into the purple tree. The thing about the purple tree, right? I like the purple tree. I know some people are not fans of the purple tree. Me personally, I do like the purple tree because uh, you do get some survivability out of it. I wish. I, I just wish they, you know, like, said fucking just double down and gave a flag a few more damage skills inside of there. I feel like that would be just, like, fuck it. Why not, bro? I mean, they they, they they held nothing back with Zane's purple tree, bro. I'm looking at you, commitment skills. So, like, why not just, like, give flag even more damage? Like, fuck it. Why not, dude? Why not? Why not? Why not give flag some, some more gun damage? You know, fuck it. Who cares? Who cares? Come on. Just, 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 just do it. Just give us some more gun damage. Come on. Come on. You, you know you want to do it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go back into fadeaway. Oh, jetpack commander, are you trying to wreck my face? Sorry, buddy. Uh, uh, please come again. Please come again. I'm surprised no other enemies are spawning over here yet, dude. Where they at? Where they at, though? Where they at, though? The hero. Any enemies gonna spawn? No, I guess not. I guess I'll go come back over here. Fuck it, why not, dude? Just, just, I'll just keep fucking up these noobs like they're like they can handle the heat, like but they can't. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's go and uh, fade away, and uh, let's get rid of this badass war dog. Oh, sit down, boy. You're not built for the task. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? Come here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nah, son. Let's go back into fade away. Uh, wreck that dude. Yeah, you're done. Oh, you want smoke too? You want smoke too? Bam, said it. Oh, get wrecked. Let's go in the fadeaway. And, uh, you're, oh, you can be a flamethrower heavyweight all you want, bro. That ain't gonna affect us now. Get wrecked, bitch. Easily going inside a fadeaway, bro. Just in and out, in and out, in and out. Doing nice damage, getting our ASCs, not dying. I'm liking this, man. I'm liking it just because, like, it keeps, it's keeping us alive really, really well. And since it did get a, a, a decent damage buff, it's not, you know, inept. You know, it can actually kill things pretty solidly, which is nice. Let's go back in and fade away. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and kill this enemy right here. And uh, I'll just go ahead and see you guys over at the Wotan Smokton Smackdown, fellas. 
All right, y'all. We're over here. We're at the Wotan Schmotan Smackdown of a Century, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna sit this man down, bro. Pretty nice that we got that corrosive action going on. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. Damn, Wotan. Damn, buddy. Damn, Wotan. Kind of chewed through your health right there, big dog. That's that. That's that corrosive damage putting in that work. That's what that is, man. Oh man. Sit down. Oh, sit down. Oh, okay. I don't even know what's doing the damage. Pet. Is that you, Pet? That is you, Mr. Chew Kraken, my boy. Sorry, Kraken, but we had to sit you down. Alright, let's let's look around. Oh dude, it's like Wotan can't even do anything to us. Like he literally can't. The Heartbreaker is literally healing us for more damage that we're taking. You think he... <laughs> oh, you can hit me. No, you can't. All right, dude. I'm not going to lie. Initially, I was kind of like underwhelmed by this thing. But after going through this entire video, not going into fight for our life one time because the Heartbreaker just out heals for everything. Like, it, like they do some damage to us, they, then we outheal it, and then we kill it, and then there's nothing they can do. I like this thing, dude. The, I, I like this Heartbreaker. I like it. I like it. I really do. Uh, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If y'all did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new. We do upload daily Borderlands 3 content, so that's up your alley. Uh, subscription is greatly appreciated, my boy. So, uh, let's go over our setup real quick. Uh, here's the Heartbreaker. Uh, once again... Uh, it heals for 20% damage on a card, so, you know, about 2k per shot, but, I mean, with this thing being fully automatic and, you know, having things like leave no trace proc consistently, you, you're, I mean, y'all saw the video, bro, we were out healing everything. We didn't go in the fight for life one time on fadeaway flat. Uh, so we have our uh, plus ultra here, which is pretty, pretty nice, and then we have our mitosis hunter seeker. Cryo radiation AC is basically what we went here with this. Uh, then we have the pearl to help out our uh, beautiful heartbreaker, and then we have our bounty hunter. Uh, with Hyperion Weapon Crit, Weapon Damage, and Weapon Crit, which is pretty, pretty nice. A little bit of agility training in the Trapper Tree just for the consistent reloading. And then we have our Frenzy, uh, He Bites, you know, these two have nice energy with each other. Our nice Hunter Tree, you know what I'm saying, my guy. Uh, and then here is our Stalker Tree, boys. Anyways, though, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Curry. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.